In this video, we journey to places where the line between reality and myth blurs, where shadows whisper secrets and the air is thick with the presence of the unknown. And sometimes, that unknown takes a chillingly familiar form, the vampire. These beings have haunted human imagination for centuries, their tales passed down through generations, each story more terrifying than the last. These creatures of the night are more than just legend, they are woven into the fabric of our fears, their existence debated by scholars and feared by those who dare to believe. And knowing how to survive an encounter could be the difference between life and death. It's not just about running or hiding. It's about understanding their nature, their weaknesses, and how to exploit them. Vampires hold a special place in our nightmares. Their ability to blend into our world, to hide in plain sight, makes them a unique and terrifying threat. Their blend of strength, cunning, and thirst for human blood makes them a truly formidable enemy. They are not just predators. They are apex predators, designed to hunt and feed on humans. Don't be fooled by the romanticized versions you see in movies. Real vampires are predators. They are not the brooding, misunderstood beings of fiction. They are ruthless hunters driven by an insatiable hunger. They are masters of disguise, hiding in plain sight, waiting for the perfect moment to strike. They can be anyone, anywhere, blending seamlessly into the fabric of society. I'm going to share what I've learned about vampires, including how to identify them, how to avoid them, and how to protect yourself if you ever find yourself in their crosshairs. Take this information seriously. Arm yourself with knowledge, for it is your best defense against the unknown. Your life could depend on it. In the face of such a threat, preparation is key. Vampires are masters of deception. They have perfected the art of blending in, making it nearly impossible to distinguish them from ordinary humans at first glance. They often walk among us unnoticed, but there are signs, subtle hints that, if you know what to look for, can reveal their true identity. One of the most obvious signs is their nocturnal habits. Vampires are rarely seen during the day, as they prefer the cover of darkness to carry out their activities. Vampires are creatures of darkness. They thrive in the night, their powers reaching their peak when the sun sets. If someone consistently avoids sunlight, it could be a red flag. Vampires are known to be extremely sensitive to sunlight, which can weaken or even destroy them. Another classic sign is the lack of a reflection. This is a well-documented trait of vampires, often depicted in folklore and literature. Vampires have no reflection in mirrors or windows. This absence is often attributed to their lack of a soul, a characteristic that sets them apart from humans. And then there's the eyes. A vampire's eyes are often described as intense and piercing, capable of holding a person in a trance-like state. They might be unusually colored with a reddish or yellowish tint, adding to their otherworldly appearance. Some witnesses even report seeing a strange, almost hypnotic quality in their gaze, making it difficult to look away. This mesmerizing effect is one of the most dangerous aspects of a vampire's presence, as it can render their victims helpless. For centuries, the image of the vampire has been linked to disease, specifically a rare blood disorder called porphyria. Could this be more than just folklore? Could porphyria be the real-life origin of the vampire myth? Porphyria affects the body's ability to produce hemoglobin, a component of red blood cells. This can lead to a range of symptoms, some of which are strikingly similar to traditional vampire traits. People with porphyria often experience extreme sensitivity to sunlight. This might explain the vampire's legendary aversion to daylight. While porphyria doesn't turn people into blood-sucking monsters, it's easy to see how its symptoms could have fueled the vampire myth throughout history. Fear and misunderstanding often give birth to the most terrifying legends. Vampires are more than just bloodsuckers. They possess a range of supernatural abilities that make them formidable predators. Understanding these abilities is crucial to surviving an encounter. One of the most terrifying abilities is their superhuman strength. Vampires are far stronger than any human. They can effortlessly overpower their victims, making escape nearly impossible. They are also incredibly fast and agile. They can move with lightning speed, making them difficult to track or escape from. Their agility allows them to scale walls and leap incredible distances, defying the laws of physics. But perhaps their most insidious ability is their power of hypnosis. 
Vampires can control minds, bending their victims to their will. They use this power to lure their prey and to ensure their silence. These abilities combined with their immortality make vampires almost unstoppable, but they are not invincible. There are ways to fight back. From 1992 until this current day, in a neighborhood of Tampa, Florida called Ybor City, a wave of strange sightings and unsettling encounters have swept through the area, centering around a popular nightclub called The Castle. This isn't just any ordinary nightclub. It is a place where the lines between reality and the supernatural seem to blur. Patrons report feeling an eerie presence, as if they were being watched by unseen eyes. People whisper of a mysterious figure, a man some called Rex, who seems to appear and disappear at will. His sudden appearances and equally sudden vanishings became the stuff of local legend, fueling the imaginations and fears of Ybor City's residents. Eyewitnesses describe Rex as strikingly handsome, with an undeniable charisma that draws people to him. His charm is almost hypnotic, making it easy for him to blend in and gain the trust of those around him. Yet beneath this alluring exterior, there is an air of danger. There is something unsettling about his gaze, a coldness that hints at a darker nature. His eyes seem to pierce through the soul, leaving those who meet his gaze with an inexplicable sense of dread. It is as if he could see into their deepest fears and secrets. He always seems to be watching, observing, preying on the vulnerabilities of those around him. His presence is like a shadow, always lurking, always waiting. People began to avoid the castle, fearing they might become his next target. Brad Steiger, a renowned paranormal investigator, documented a specific vampire report at the castle in his book, Real Vampires, Night Stalkers, and Creatures from the Dark Side. Steiger is no stranger to the supernatural, having spent decades researching and writing about paranormal phenomena. In his book, he speaks about an encounter in 1992 by friends Azron and Annie. The two friends went to the club together and encountered a supposedly real vampire. Azron tried to pursue the vampire through the club, only to have him continuously disappear. At one point, the vampire told him to stop chasing him and that he should be grateful that his blood is tainted. Eight months after the encounter, Azarin found out that he had Hodgkin's lymphoma. Was this an early run-in with Rex? Is Rex a real vampire? The story, if true, is compelling. The sightings in Ybor City serve as a stark reminder that the world of the paranormal is often closer than we think. These events challenge our understanding of reality and force us to confront the possibility that there are things in this world that defy explanation. The stories of Rex in the castle are a testament to the fact that the supernatural can have very real and very dangerous consequences. This brings us to our first suggestion. Don't pursue vampires. Just don't. With tales like that of Rex and the castle still haunting the streets of Ybor City, it's also crucial to know how to protect yourself from these nocturnal predators. Vampires are most likely to reside in cities with a rich history of supernatural occurrences and a plethora of unexplained disappearances. Some of these infamous vampire cities include New Orleans, Louisiana, Salem, Massachusetts, and of course Transylvania, Romania. Other cities are popular with vampires because of the number of vampire clubs they have. These include Atlanta, Georgia, Phoenix, and Scottsdale, Arizona, and you guessed it, Tampa, Florida. Unaliving the undead is a formidable task since trickery would need to be used to get the creature to expose itself to sunlight, and being in close yet deadly proximity would be required to drive a stake through its heart or decapitate it. We will focus more on preventing an attack. So if you ever do find yourself in one of these cities, it is vital to be cautious, especially after dark. Here are some tried and true methods to repel vampires. First, carry garlic. The strong scent is believed to be a powerful deterrent against vampires. It's said that garlic sulfur compounds are highly effective in repelling these creatures. Second, wear a crucifix. The symbol of faith is thought to ward off vampires, providing a spiritual barrier that they cannot cross. Third, keep a vial of holy water with you at all times. Holy water is believed to cause great harm to vampires, burning their skin upon contact. Additionally, be cautious about inviting strangers into your home. Vampires cannot enter without an invitation, so keeping this rule in mind can be a key strategy in ensuring your safety. These ancient practices have been passed down through generations, serving as a survival guide for those who walk in the shadows of vampire lore. 
While some may view these measures as mere superstition, the legends and stories we've explored suggest that a little caution can go a long way. So, the next time you find yourself in a city with a storied past of supernatural events, remember these tips. They might just save your life. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the eerie and unknown. Please like and subscribe for more supernatural survival tips. And until next time, stay fearless, stay prepared, and keep your garlic close.